Hey folks, so a friend of mine was telling me that he was having trouble setting up his Canva landing page, and I figured I would try the process from scratch just to see how it goes. We use Canva for a lot of stuff, and uh, it's a great tool, and they keep adding some neat features. So if you want to have a cohesive brand image across different types of collateral, like PDFs or social videos, social images, apparently websites, presentations. They give you a really nice way to manage your brand, uh, including colors, fonts, and other things, and uh, apply them to all of the visual work that you do. So let's take a look at this. We're going to launch a sort of link in bio page for the Small Tech Podcast. <clears throat> I'm going to look through the examples here, and I think it's maybe slightly more similar to our website. Um, you know what? I am going to run with this one for now. So I'm going to go to the Brand Hub. And we are going to shuffle the colors till we see something that fits the vibe a little bit better. It's so close. I just wanted to use our dark background with the, uh, the sort of yellowish green as a highlight. I guess we're not going to get that for whatever reason it is. Like, this is the closest. It's not bad. I just want to reverse it. Okay, anyway, let's make this website actually run. We'll figure out the the rest of it later. Um, okay, so publish website. Use my existing domain without navigation. Resize on mobile. Let's preview it actually. Mobile, desktop. Yeah, sure. Um, publish, boom, we want links.smalltechpodcast.com. Connect up to five domains if you've bought them from another company. Why? Oh, do they only support, like... Do they not support subdomains? That's interesting and a bit annoying. I'm gonna check and see if I do something like this. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so they allow you to do, they don't allow you to do subdomains. That, that sucks. I'm not gonna lie, that's, uh, that's deeply annoying. Uh, yeah, not great. Not, not great. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use a random domain that uh, I've got. ecdev.site. Just to test things out. This is too bad. I was kind of hoping to use it legitimately for for something but i guess i guess not um okay let's see how i can do this okay so we're in here ec dev Save your domain. Okay. Continue. Okay. TXT record. Okay. Next. Oh, we're also going to make sure we don't proxy if we're using Cloudflare. We're using Cloudflare. We are using Cloudflare. All right. 
Copy. That's C name or a record, a record. Alrighty. A record added. Cloudflare does tend to propagate quickly. So if they verify this in, I'll just wait like five seconds. Uh, yeah, a little bit frustrating. The idea behind this is, is neat, but yeah, this particular feature, I hadn't tried it before and I'm a little bit annoyed. Okay. Sure. Okay, so you, I see. So you can do different pages through Canva and each design is a different page. That's actually kind of neat. I like that. Uh, go preparing your design. Your domain is being verified by your host. This domain could take up to 72 hours. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I know there's uh, generally uh, companies that provide hosting of some sort that's disconnected from DNS will, um, will say stuff like that because DNS can propagate slowly. Uh, in recent years, it's gotten a lot faster in the past like five to seven years, but it used to be pretty legitimately regularly like 48 hours for something to to show up 72 is interesting i haven't seen that long in a while uh view preview cool that's not on our domain view domain settings in here oh a record. I did have that set. Yep, that's my bad. Delete that. And refresh. Nice. Your domain is being verified. This isn't clear to me if this is an automated process or a human process. Your domain is being verified. In most cases, that should be, oh, let's see, still pending. Verify DNS record. So this is weird to me, verification. Because so my instinct would be, oh, pending, current value not found, current value connected. So these are all connected. It looks like perhaps they do a separate sort of verification. It can also take um, a little while for, for TLS certificates to be generated. Um, I'm surprised it's taking this long after we see these things all listed as connected. So yeah, a little unusual, uh, not the best experience in my opinion, compared to other, uh, services. Like for example, the small tech podcast is hosted on a service called transistor for podcasts and, oh, that's interesting. That's one of our podcasts. I'm just going to go ahead and screenshot that. That's interesting. Huh. Um, I wonder if they, if the, these are auto generated. No, it's an image, I think with three things. So it looks like it might actually be someone neat. Um, so very interesting. Uh, with 
Transistor, for example, I hooked up the domain and had the website published in, I think, a minute. Um, I think literally a minute. So that's a little annoying. Refresh and see what happens. Still not. For why Canva? You see dev dot site not found. Doesn't exist. That's really annoying. Why is this like this? I think to me, the most frustrating thing at the moment is a lot of the types of websites, like I can understand perhaps users who um, who are perhaps less involved in tech than I am, might want to do it for their main website. I see this as like a, an interesting way to generate landing pages. Uh, so I could see it as an alternative to a landing page builder, uh, of which there are so many. Um, and so my instinct would be to use this for something like landing.myproductsite.com, uh, where the main site perhaps is more involved and custom built, uh, but you want to whip up some landing pages that are on brand really quickly. And so you could connect a domain to, to Canva. It's very frustrating that you can't do a subdomain. That seems to me like a, a huge oversight in terms of the potential for this particular platform and how it could be used and how, to me, I would instinctively want to use it. Uh, but that is also just like my particular use case. Um, because your domain is being verified. Tell me, tell me something about that. What does that mean? Is it a human who has to verify it? It's not clear to me. Uh, domain verification. There's another thing. So I love Canva, but, but I find their documentation really annoying. Uh, purchasing domains, using your own domains. So if we're yes, correctly entered in your domain host settings, the records will usually appear connected within a few hours on your domain settings page in Canva. In some cases, verifying your domain can take up to 72 hours depending on your host. So here it's saying 72 hours and it's talking about verification and host. So that's presumably your, your domain host. So this to me implies that verification is just about making sure the DNS records are correct. Um, you'll receive an email once all the records are connected or if they need rechecking. If your DNS settings still appear pending on your domain settings page after 72 hours, see website DNS settings for things that you can try. This is also weird and annoying. Five, I could see myself easily building a lot more than that with, with this kind of system. I guess that's domains, not pages. We had landing.productname.com. You could be building hundreds of pages on that one domain. It's just me. I think it's just me. We throw together so many things uh, that I, I just want. I don't know, I want that limit instinctively. I'm like, come on, give me at least 20, 30 unlimited websites. I am going to tell them, doesn't answer my question. The status of my DNS records are all set to to me in the uh, settings page for the 
documentation why a domain a being told that my domain is still being verified. Is there a human verification taking place? If it's a machine verification, there should be some sort of status indicator. My domain are in place and as my current assumption is that there is a in your in application system. But overall the UX of this feature leaves me confused and frustrated. Okay. Hopefully that's good feedback for them. I'm gonna try and go here again. Oh, it's there. Okay, it's working. <laughs> uh, I refresh, there it is. Okay, so it is machine verification. It just took a little longer than expected. I have a website up and running. Let's see. Oh, it gets a little weird when we're on small screen sizes, but when we get to mobile, it nicely stacks. Alrighty. I'm going to send them some more feedback <laughs> to tell them that I want to use subdomains. But yeah, that's it. Uh, we connected a website through Canva and it does seem to be working. So not sure why my friend's site is not working, but we'll figure that out. All right, see ya folks.